Hey, wait. Hey, hey Kostya. Hey, How's it going? Good oh, to see you. I've seen uh, you have something special for me today. Wow. So this is Ludovic Valura's collaboration with us. It's Grail Watch number 10. Wow. But it's got a really incredible story and I want to tell you all about it. Come all right, me. let's go. What's going on guys? Waco here with Constant Kwong at the Revolution Watch Bar. This time wearing our Grail hats because we're about yep. to launch Grail Watch number 10. And this is probably the watch that I'm proudest of, you know, not just because it's an exceptional watch from a technical perspective, but because of the human story behind it. And it's our collaboration with Ludovic Valura. So, Costa, tell us a little bit about Ludovic and his uh, life story. Ludovic Valua is, a, uh, is an independent watchmaker. I think uh, our watch collectors, you know, are, have been in the watch industry for a while. We should know his name. He's, he's, he's quite famous, you know. But of course, uh, he, is, uh, he, he didn't start, start uh, being a watchmaker that, that way, the traditional way. He, uh, he was actually in the, uh, he was employed under an aviation company. Yes. Um, you know, uh, fixing aviation parts, you know, you know, in a way. And he, he worked that um, for 10 years and finally realized that, you know, all of his friends are moving away, moving on with life. And um, he's, uh, he's thinking to himself, oh man, um, am I supposed to just uh, be like that? And then, you know, he made the move, uh, went into his, uh, his roots and uh, he went to work for Frank Muller for three years. And then uh, subsequently, uh, after that, he moved on to, uh, you know, you know well, F.P. John. Well, he went to work for F.P. John for seven years uh, and he was in charge of the Grand Sonnery, you know, before he, before he left and created his own brand in 2009. You know, that's around the time yeah. when I first met Ludovic. And the thing about him is that he's one of the most wonderful, affable, kindest people. Yeah. He's just such a charming man and he has such a generosity of spirit. And people became so enchanted by him as he was traveling around the world presenting the Grand Sonnery for yeah. Paul Jorn that people kept saying to him, Ludovic, you know, if you ever create your watch please, please let us know we'd be interested to have mm -hmm. one and finally he had the idea to create this watch which is Ludovic Balurat's upside down yep. watch right and mm -hmm. this is a very interesting watch because it's only the present hour that you're in yep. that's right side up and all the other 11 indexes are inverted so or that, upside down or upside down yep. so that you only pay attention to the moment that you're in right that's and I cool. love this because it's almost like a Zen Buddhist philosophy where you should mm. be not attached to your past and not concerned about your future but relishing the moment that yes. you're in and Ludovic will never understand how important that was until he found out that his wife yep. was diagnosed mm -hmm. with cancer. Mm -hmm. So Ludovic's uh, wife fought it for 10 years and they would go frequently to the oncologist together. And finally, at the end of one decade, after fighting it incredibly bravely, uh, she succumbed to the, the disease. Yep. Right? Um, and just before she passed away, I remember Ludovic telling me, she said to him, Ludovic, don't worry, one day you'll find someone and you'll have uh, children. And he, of course, was, you know, he couldn't process this information. He said, oh, you know, that's crazy. Uh, why are you even yeah. saying this? So she passed away and uh, Ludovic would go to a park in Geneva called Parc Breton. He was in the midst of, you know, running his independent watch brand. He was working super hard, but he would just go to the park for solace. Right. Mm -hmm. Then one day he met this woman named Flavia. Flavia is an Italian woman who was working for a shipping company based in the United States, but had just moved to Geneva to take care of their office. Mm -hmm. And they became friends. And then after about you know a year of friendship, um, Flavia found out that Ludovic was going to go to an art gallery opening. And to her surprise, that she found that she was feeling really jealous. And mm -hmm. then she, she said to herself, Oh my God, I think I'm in love with Ludovic. Right? <laughs> because up to then, their relationship had only been platonic. And so she said, well, I have to tell him. So she told Ludovic, and to her surprise, Ludovic said, you know, Flavia, I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to make things awkward between us, but I have the same feelings for you. And he said, well, you know, at our age, and they were both at this point, I hope you don't mind me divulging, kind of in their mid-40s, he said, we shouldn't waste time anymore. Let's go back to my home in Brittany for Christmas and I want to introduce you to my family. So wow. they went back to Brittany and by the end of January, Flavia had found out that she was pregnant. So um, being new to Geneva, uh, she didn't have a obstetrician and so she you know, was using Google, as we all do, to, to find who she is that she mm -hmm. could, could visit. That. And she was also concerned, I mean, you know, I, I'm not sharing something that she hasn't divulged to us as well, that she was a bit older. She was 45 when she was having her first child. Wow. Right. So they found one finally, but then the first appointment they could get, and bear in mind this was the end of January, yep. was on March 13th, right? And when she told this to Ludovic, he said, oh, but that's crazy. That's the anniversary of my wife's death, you know? Oh, that was my the God. day that she passed away. Wow. And so they were kind of like a little shocked by the coincidence. 
But anyway, then they entered the name of the doctor into uh, Google Maps and they went there. They hadn't even checked the address. And as they pulled up, they realized that they were in the same street where Ludovic had brought his wife during that 10 years seeing her chemotherapist, right? Oh. And then they realized that they were in front of the same building and it was in this building where the obstetrician was. And they ended up taking the uh, elevator and they got off at this floor. On the right-hand side was the office of the oncologist. Uh, and on the left-hand side was the obstetrician. Wow, it and, must be. Yeah, and they couldn't believe the coincidence. Yeah. And so they went in and the obstetrician told them, guys, don't worry, I know you have some concerns um, because you guys are a little bit older, um, but your child will be completely healthy and you should proceed with this childbirth if that's something that you want. And as soon as they all walked out, um, Flavia turned to Ludovic and said, you know, your first wife is giving us a gift. The universe is giving us wow. a gift and that's our child, right? So understanding this, um, you know, I remember sitting in Ludovic's uh, house in, in, in Switzerland and he was telling me this story and I was quite overwhelmed with what he was telling me. Mm -hmm. And I said to him, you know, Ludovic, you know, you should make a watch with your son, with Gabriel, right? Um, and at the time, Gabriel was three years old. And, and he said, you know, it's interesting you say that because when Gabriel was born, I, w I was up until then, I was questioning why I was doing this, right? I was questioning why I was working so hard, putting myself in financial difficulty just to have a watch brand. And it was only when he was born that it gave my life meaning, it gave my work meaning in terms of being able to pass this on to the next generation. Wow. And he said it would be my greatest happiness to be able to work with my son one day next to me at the bench. But in the meantime, what do you mean by I should do a watch with my son now as he's only three years old? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so, so I said, well, I mean, maybe he could design the dial. So funnily, I, I left and, you know, um, in the meantime, Ludovic had taken a drawing of his dial and he'd pass it to Gabriel when he was three. And without saying anything, Gabriel just took it and started to color it in. I right? see. And so he started to apply these little dots, these colorful dots on the different parts of the mm -hmm. uh, indexes. And at the end of it, he showed it to his dad. And Ludovic was kind of blown away by what he saw. He's like, actually, it's quite beautiful. So then he showed it to me. And I remember like opening my WhatsApp and I saw it and I was like, Ludovic, this thing's amazing. Wow. This design is so beautiful. And he said, well, if you agree, I would love to make this watch in collaboration with you since it was your suggestion that I work together with my wow. son. So uh, Gabriel now is, I think, four and a half years old. Um, but it's the first time that any watch that Ludovic has made it has Ludovic Balourat et Fils, which means and son wow. in French, right? And the cool thing is, if you look at this dial, it's an adventuring dial, but it's following exactly the coloring and drawings that Gabriel had made when he was wow. three years old. That was, that's the thing, I, I was wondering what the scribble is all about, but wow, now that you paint the picture in my head, I understand now. I love this watch for two reasons. One, because uh, as an upside down watch, it reminds us to treasure the moment that we're in. But it also is a wonderful watch from the perspective of understanding the resilience of human beings yep. and how that we can go through incredible tragedies and we can come back from it and find true meaning in our lives as Ludovic and, and Flavia and Gabriel all do today as a family. Mm -hmm. So it's a watch for people who love their family. And you know, uh, I don't know anyone that, that doesn't sort of, <laughs> that everybody doesn't should resonate this with. Watch because everybody <laughs> loves their family. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So uh, other than that, um, you know, what else can I tell you? Uh, so we're going to make 12 of these watches. Mm -hmm. So if you understand how many watches Ludovic makes a year, 12 is basically almost his, his entire his, year's production. His entire basically, annual production. Yeah. So I will, if you're interested in one of these watches, um, of course, we're happy to have this conversation with you. It will be made um, exclusively in platinum with this adventuring yep. dial. Um, there's going to be 12 of them, four with um, Arabic slash Breguet indexes, yep. uh, four with um, Chinese, Chinese characters, characters yep. and then four with Hindu Arabic characters. Hindu -Arabic, exactly. Yeah. And so if you're interested in any of those, please let us know. Please understand also that um, the watch will take some time to be created yep. because it's going to take one year for Ludovic to make all of these watches. Yes. But he wanted mm -hmm. to do it. The nickname of the watch is Series Gaga. Yep. Right, Gaga is a nickname for Gabriel, and he wow. says that he's not. After he does this, he'll never do it again. He just wants to make this one tribute to um, the gift from the universe and the it's gift amazing, from his yeah. first wife uh, mm -hmm. in this watch. And he's going to offer this watch, which is the prototype, to his son Gabriel. It's amazing. I think we also should thank you, you know, way to um, because of your, um, you know, your involvement in this project and uh, the the dedication to to just let uh, Ludovic know that hey, you know, he should do something with his son, and hence the project was born, you know, and. You know, without you, there won't be the Grill Watch 10 as well. You know, there won't be the Series Gaga as well. So, you know, you have, <laughs> I got to get one. <laughs> I think you should. I, I think I have to. <laughs> you know, thank you, Constance. It's nice of you to say. When I started um, Grail Watch now two years ago. I had always wanted it to be a project 
that would allow for dream collaborations. Yeah. But I never thought a dream collaboration could be one between a father and a son or so a family yeah. because I think Flavio is really a big part of this watch as well yeah. in such a meaningful way. So guys, thank you for tuning in. Uh, um, I hope you like this as much as I love being in a small way involved in it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and again, you know, it's such a pleasure to work in this industry um, and work with people that I love, such as Ludovic, Flavia, and now Gabriel as well. So thank you, Constant. Thank you, Wade. Peace, guys.